Okay, in this video, we are going to learn how you are going to create your first project in Azure DevOps account. So basically what we are going to do, we have Rohan here and he wants to understand how he has to create a new project in Azure DevOps account. So let's get into that. Okay, so you can see now we are inside our Azure DevOps account. And obviously in the previous video, we learned how to create the organization and how to do stuff with that. But now let's simply click on creating a new project. Now I want to mention one thing, if you have not yet created any account, uh, sorry, I should say any project in your Azure DevOps account. So this is what you are going to see. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply put a name to my project. So I will say, hello world project. And again, I don't have to give the project name and I'll say, uh, I mean the project prefix if I may, uh, suffix if I may. Now I'll say, this is a hello world project and I am going to do some crazy stuff here. Now, I want to mention one thing. If we talk about the visibility section, we have a public visibility and we have a private visibility. Public is something which is available for everyone. They can have the read access at minimum. And in the private access, only the people who you, whom you have authorized will be able to access that. Now, if I scroll down, you will see something like uh, public projects are disabled in your, for your organization. You can turn on public visibility with organization policy. So basically, like, let's say if you if you want to add public project into your organization, what you can do, you can simply click on this organization policies and that will redirect you to this specific page. And here you can see we have, we are getting this option of uh, allow public projects. So basically what is happening with this allow public project is that you can actually enable the public or I should say general public to access the various projects or I can say we can create the projects which can have public access but right now since that is not our concern we are not going to do that so I'm going to simply go back to my portal and obviously that everything is gone so I will simply say hello world say this is a hello world project where I'm going to do crazy stuff now in the advanced section you can see i will get few options version control so obviously i will be choosing it because this is one of the most or i should say most popular version control we have and secondly we have the work item pro process so you have agile you have basics sorry you have basic you have cmmi you have scrum so obviously right now for the sake of simplicity i'm going to keep it basic and i'm going to click on create project now, once you have cre clicked on create project, you can see obviously there is sort of a loading screen which is loading for me. And here is the panel where you can see what is happening. So right now this project is empty. So you here you can see welcome to this project and here it is giving you sort of a welcome screen. On the right hand side, you can see the uh, project states. Here you can see all the members who are part of this particular project. I want to mention one thing. These are the people who are part of this project, not this organization. Now here you can see this, this is a private project and obviously in case if you want to invite someone, you can invite them. Now over to the left hand side, you can see we are getting a huge menu, which is going to be the most integral part or I should say most important part in any of the projects of Azure DevOps. So here you can see this is an overview. This is sort of a summary screen if I may. This is a dashboard and obviously you can see this dash, uh, sorry, this dashboard does not have any widgets right now. Obviously we will be learning that in detail. We also have the wikis option, which we can where we can create our wikis and we can sort of do anything related to wikis in this particular page. Now, I want to mention this particular page will be available for all the people who are part of this specific project. If you have a doubt and you need the answer right now, well, you can go to our website and there is a live support available for you. So you can go there, you can ask a query and someone from our team will respond to you right now. Next comes the section of boards, which is sort of a management tool or I should say project management tool related to what you are going to do with this project. We're going to have a detailed discussion on this as well. Then we have the repos. So whatever repos we have inside this specific project will be visible here. Now, since we have not added any uh, uh, repos, if I may, that is why it is sort of empty. Now, I want to mention one thing. We will be having a detailed discussion on that. This is just an overview I'm giving. Now, if we talk about the pipeline section, you can see we are getting all the details related to pipeline. We will be learning how to create a pipeline and how to use the pipeline. Then comes the option of test plans, which will not be available for us because we are at the level where we don't have the access to this test plan. So obviously this is something which is not going to work for us because this is only sort of a feature, which is a paid feature. 
Then finally, we have the artifacts section where we can actually store our artifacts or maybe connect to a certain feed with which we can manage anything related to artifacts inside this particular project. So this is how you create a new project in Azure DevOps. So I hope all your doubts are now clear with this video. But I understand you must be having some questions. In that case, comment section is the right section for you. But if you need some guidance related to your career, which could not be answered in this video, obviously click on the link which is given in the description of this video and someone from our team will make sure that your career doubt is clear.